Wait a sec. You're live on this. Live too? Mm-hmm. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Boy and Man Show. It's our sixth episode, we're pretty excited. Chris, uh, how today, excited are you? I'm, I'm really excited because today we're with a very special guest, Mexican-American muralist, Nick Fix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But today's episode is really special, and I don't think Neckface knows this. This is the Mexican episode. Yep. We got half Mexican Chris. We got Mexican Hunter Tech, and half Wetback Wee Man. So there's a little bit of Mexican in all of us. There's a lot of brown in us. Yeah. The brown. <laughs> <laughs> the brown is in charge today. <laughs> and and what's your other half? My other half is Germ the Germans. The German, the yeah. Wiener Schnitzel. The Zib- Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your other half, Chris? Oh, uh, like a uh, um, Norwegian. Norwegian. Ger- and German, too. German, too. Uh, so you're a mutt. Mm. Sounds like you just made that up. <laughs> I didn't. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and are you full Mexican? 100% wet back. There you go. <laughs> Mom and dad, full Mexican, Mexican pride. Orale. <laughs> Orale, mommy and papi. They don't know how to use the computer. <laughs> I wish I didn't. I, I seriously do. Like, I'm glad I don't. I'm pretty pretty soon. I'm I'm seriously I'm gonna I'm gonna be off the grid. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just, over this shit. <laughs> Not this shit. Yeah, no, this shit of course is awesome. But that shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they made it so dumb that everyone could use it, so it's not even funny anymore. No, they made it so they can control us. That's what it is. They've gone too far. Yeah, they've gone way too far. <laughs> we don't know who they are, but they're doing it. They're doing it. They got the Martians, man. The Martians. <laughs> <laughs> We're the puppets to the Martians. Yep. <laughs> this is all a big plan. <laughs> the Martians. That's, Not- why, that's why they're trying to move us to Mars. They're trying to make us check out Mars. Yeah, and so they can trap us. It's a mouse trap. Yep, and then when we get there, they're just going to probe our buttholes all day long. <laughs> <laughs> And like put like little like milkers on our wieners and just take yeah. everything we got. Just milk us <laughs> and probe us. Yeah. Probe M and P. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 All right. So while we're here today is uh, Neckface is an amazing artist. He's done a lot for the skateboard industry, the music industry. Sure. Sure. Have you or? I uh, did. Haven't done a lot. You haven't done a lot of music. I've, I've, I've denied some musical artists' album covers. <laughs> <laughs> See? So that does make you a part of it. Part of it. You, you, you've been asked, but you didn't foretake. Yep. Exactly. So. And we go on a bunch of tours called Skate Rock around the world. So that's. That's a, musical. That's musical. Yep. And what skate companies do you do, you, do, you do graphics for? I uh, do graphics for Baker Skateboards. But the first graphic I ever did, first board, I got asked by a lot of companies to do graphics, but the first graphic I ever did was for Mark Gonzalez, awesome. which is a no-brainer. Hell and yeah. it was like, I was waiting for that, waiting for something to be like, yeah, of course I'll do that. You know, I'm the greatest skater ever. Pulls up to me on a bike with no seat, and he's like, hey, you're neck face, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, I want you to do my board graphic. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. I was like, of course. So that was my first board I ever did for a company was with Crooked, and then... Which board was that? It was like a white board with a bunch of heads on it, and he was like, just do whatever you want, and I was like, dude, Gon's telling me to do his board, and whatever That's I want. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's Huge fucking deal. awesome. And then, um, and then I got hooked up with Baker, and those are all my friends, like Spanky, and that's the first person I knew off Baker, and then we all clicked and been working for Baker since. Didn't you, didn't you have a bounty on your head for a while, like years ago, um, for something you, that you did, uh, a mural that you painted? <laughs> There's uh, multiple. That's what I was gonna say. Tell was, me about the neck face um, returns. Oh, that was a Bat- Batman Returns billboard, and um, I went with my friend, and we were like, let's do this billboard, billboard off the Williamsburg Bridge. And this was like one of the toughest billboards I ever had to get up to. We had to squeeze through this barbed wire fence that was, it was a grid. It was like, not just barbed wire like that, it was a grid. So we had the, we all got scratched up going through this hole that we like made. And if I was this big now, I wouldn't have made it <laughs> through. But back then I was like this big. And then I made it through. And then we jumped down into someone's backyard 
and they're like watching TV. And you can see them watching TV and we creep past them. <laughs> and we go back up the escalators and we're or as the uh, fire escape and we're going all up these fire escapes. Everyone's awake. Everyone's awake watching TV and fucking doing something, cooking or whatever. And we're like creeping past. Like the lady's like cooking, puts a plate away, and we're like, oh, go right past her. We get up to the billboard. He's like, I'm doing this one. And I was like, all right, I'll do this one. And then I was like, oh, yeah, this is the Batman one. And I was like, uh, scratched out Batman. And I just wrote neck face on there and did my little bat character. And it said neck face begins. And that was like was one of the most whatever famous ones or ones that people remember. Like it went on the news and stuff, right? Like, who the fuck did this? Nah, another one that went on the news was, uh, it was like a, Law and Order billboard, huh. <laughs> and it said uh, it just said wanted huge on it, and then me and my friend EM1 went there <laughs> and wrote our names under it, so it was wanted EM1 neck face, <laughs> and then the dude uh, who owns the building I guess heard us and he came out and chased us and we didn't even know, and we were already gone by the time he came out, so that was like in the newspaper and stuff. The Batman Returns one. Did you draw a face on it? Like, did you draw a character? Or did you just write neck face returns? It was uh, in the middle. It was Batman's in the background with his cape. Okay. And then I drew my own back character in the middle, in front of him. And then I crossed out fucking Batman. And wrote neck face begins. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Did you ever get caught doing anything like that? Uh, I've been busted a couple times. I can't say where, but... Um, Right now, if you don't get feed or your friends in Boston don't get feed, we had to cut Boston off due to uh, legalities of certain things. And uh, yeah, just let them know. Next show will continue in Boston, but this week we can't. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you're a respected muralist, um, like all's forgiven, right? I guess so. I hope. Shit. Yeah. Have, we'll see. <laughs> have you ever been, you know, like you went up, shh, neck face was here, blah, 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 and then you're running and the cops get you and they're like, oh, we know it was you. No, no, it wasn't me. But your hands are like covered in paint. Like, that wasn't me. What are you talking about? One time, one time in New York, I got busted and uh, me and my friend got busted. We were about to paint a spot and the dude was, the cop was like, he's like, over here right now. Like all New York style cop. And he's like, he's like, we just saw you guys painting, whatever, and we're like, nah, we didn't paint. He's like, he's like, uh, let's see your bags. Checks our bags full of paint, and then we puts the bags on the ground, and we're like, fuck. And then he's like, he's like, IDs now, IDs. Fucking takes my fucking whole wallet out of my out of my hands and fucking opens it up, and I have an Ozzy Osbourne sticker in there that I stole from. Uh, we went to this party and some kid had it on his uh, fridge and I took it off his fridge <laughs> and I put it in my wallet. So I had this Ozzy Osbourne sticker in my wallet. The dude opens my wallet and he was like, oh, you like Ozzy? He's like, you like Ozzy? And I was like, yeah, he's like, fucking sick. And he was like, all right. And he fucking um, checks my friend's ID, gives me the wallet back. And he's like, he's like, I'm letting you go because you like Ozzy. And I saw them in fucking... 86 or some shit. He's like, I'm letting you go because you like Ozzy. He's like, that's hey, get out of here. And I was like, oh, holy shit. Ozzy saved your life. Yeah. In many ways. Multiple times. Yeah. That's and going through like airport and shit, like uh, customs or whatever, they're like, oh, fucking Black Sabbath or Metallica, whatever yeah. band shirt I have on. And they're like, yeah, go right through. And I have some shit in my fucking bag. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. No, people always, like, anytime I post photos or whatever, even today, like, people are like, represent the flag, yeah, yeah, you know? And it's like, any, it's just banned. It's like, what I, it's my blood. Like, music is my blood. Yeah. And those are the only, like, t-shirts I'll wear. Like, that's me. What I, you know? And it's like, when people get stoked on what you do, it's like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. What are you doing in, you're going to Japan, like, in a week? I'm going to Japan September 1st. I got a, a clothing collaboration with this company called Wacko Maria. And they're uh, they're uh, like a super high end, super cool company in Japan, and um, we're doing a uh, we're doing a, a whole line of clothing. We're doing a zine. I'm having a show out there, spending ten days out there, and I told them that I want a different girl every night. So they're like, okay. With you. <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> you better you might want to flick it and sniff it before you lick it or stick it. <laughs> because you never know, they might say it's a girl. <laughs> how much you drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But if you if you're if you're out to live a life of adventure, you know, if, if one time or another, you know, you're gonna end up getting your dick sucked by a dude. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it happens. It, it's true, like um. <laughs> it happens, not happen. It happens, not happen. It, Maybe he said it. <laughs> it happens. I mean, Maybe. With, I mean, with our crew, it, it happens. Oh, it happens. Yeah. Not to me though. I've, ne- I've never gone that way. I'm just not gonna let it. The only dude that sucked my dick was Steve-O, but I, <laughs> I, bet, I wouldn't Every, really call that. Everybody it. knows that. I know they do. And that doesn't count. Like, mm-hmm. But like... It, it doesn't count. It, it doesn't just, count it, at go, all. it goes with the mechanic rule. Yeah. It, just because you can change a spark plug or a battery in your car doesn't mean you're a mechanic. So just because Steve-O was the only dude that sucked your dick doesn't mean you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> you got his phone number and your cell phone. <laughs> You're good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we were filming in front of all of our bros, so yeah, it was a stunt. It was all friends. I had, uh, <laughs> and we were totally drunk too. I had a. Uh, we were on a skate rock trip in uh, in China, and then we had to skip town because we started this huge fight, and we ended up in Thailand, and we were in Bangkok, home of the Lady Land. Yeah. And then for, Lady Dude Land. Lady Dude Land. Lady Boy. Yeah, lady that boy. is Lady Boy Land. Lady Boy Land. Lady boy Land. Yeah. So we're 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 in the strip club. And um, they're just running around, just walking around like conveyor belt style, and they all got like numbers on them. And you could be like, hey, I want number 14. So they take her over <laughs> here, whatever. And I was with my friend who's a local there, and I was like picking out the hottest girls. I was like, I was like what about that one? Oh, he's, like, he's like, that's a dude. I'm like, no way, that's the hottest chick in here. And he's like, that's a dude. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you don't know what you're looking at anymore. It just becomes a it. You're just looking at it, a yeah. something. Yeah. So and it's then, like a uh, cheeseburger. <coughs> you're ordering a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what kind of beef you're getting. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. You're just getting a cheeseburger. But like we went to um this place called the Golden Dome. Me and Jason and, and Steve-O did to um in Thailand. Yeah, it was like like where the lady boys like like do like a a little song and dance like it. What, no. They lip sync them. Yeah, they did lip sync. I was thinking of something else too because we went to. I was thinking of a different place, but that was in India. But yeah, in Thailand, some other place with lady boys. Yeah, with lady <laughs> boys also. But uh, it was trippy because we walked in and you could see Steve-O He's like a full horn dog, and he was like really checking these dudes out, <laughs> but like having to tell himself, "No, it's a dude. It's a dude. It's yeah. a dude." And they, they, those lady boys didn't like us from the get go. Remember, like, yeah, they were nasty to it. They were kind of like, they were, they were like, a, I think they thought we were like going to make fun of them, and they, they were like, like coming up and like grabbing like the sound man's butt and stuff, and like, then like when we were like everyone was getting ready, they kind of did our makeup shitty so we'd be uglier than them. And I mean, we were already like, like we weren't good. I mean, I had a full beard. I think like I didn't really have a chance of, of winning any beauty contests. But like, <laughs> you guys went out there to like start the performance and like. Um, they were supposed to like leave, take me to the stage, and they took me to the basement and like started like 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 feeling you up. Yeah, like and trying to like 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 I would care, like it would freak me out or something. And I'm like, I'm like, we're, we have to perform right now. Like, <laughs> just did this to me two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, you guys need shit. Yeah, and like yeah, I was like, say my first, first rodeo. First, yeah, not my first rodeo. <laughs> You're not my first lady boy. You won't be my last. <laughs> but it up and. On that same show, these all the girls and whatever possible boys individuals. Walked, walked off individuals walked off stage, and we're like, "What the fuck?" It's like ten thirty. Why is this place closing? Like we, they all left. And three, I think it was three three ladies come out. Definitely not lady boys. Three ladies come out and they have all these balloons. And they start fucking doing a little dance and they let go of these balloons. We're like, "Damn, whose birthday is it?" Yeah, and then they do another dance, and then they fucking sit on their back, fucking spread eagle, and they have a blow dart gun, and they put oh, it in there, and they're like, and they shoot all these balloons off the ceiling, <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck? And they were nailing it like perfect. perfect. Every shot perfect. was perfect, and then I fucking I ended up stealing a dart. 